Romans chapter 10 verses 1 through 4 says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. Um, real problem if you believe in replacement theology. You just got to kick that thing there. Um, because the replacement theology people say that whenever you read about Israel or the Jews, it's talking about the church now. Well, how does that work? <laughs> My prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Well, if Israel has turned in, the church has turned into Israel, why is Paul saying, I, I pray that they get saved? Don't believe in replacement theology. It's you got to be really, rather stupid and satanic to believe in that stuff. But uh, the whole thing is, uh, anybody who's saved, a born-again, Bible-believing saint of the Lord, is going to look at the nation of Israel and have a burden for them. They're going to look at the Jews, and they're going to have a burden for them. And um, so this video here, uh, if you're Jewish uh, or in Israel or whatever, um, I'm going to put three videos at the end of this um, little quick video here that you can watch that tell you about your future, um, what is coming for the Jewish people. And uh, if you know some Jews or if you're interested in these issues, if you've believed in the lie of replacement theology, you're newly saved, um, watch the three videos at the end and you'll see that, yes, God does have some very definite plans for that nation of Israel. First, we'll have the Israeli flags prophesy their future, part one. There's two parts to that study. Secondly, when does the new covenant come in? A lot of people say the new covenant is the New Testament. No, it's not. Oh, well, the new covenant already came in. No, it hasn't. Okay, if you're confused on that issue, please watch the study. It's a, it's a lot of scripture. And then number three, answering a Jewish rabbi's objection to G, objections to Jesus, part one. It's a two-part study again. Um, the, the rabbis right now reject Jesus Christ as their Messiah. They list a bunch of reasons and whatever else. Um, so uh, if you want to know more about those subjects, I would recommend watching those videos. Uh, it'll answer a lot of your questions on the Jews and Israel.